This business of Alphagraph is helping customers build communication solutions. We have a super unique opportunity to be able to complement what we have grown up doing. Which means business cards and letterhead, envelopes and that sort of thing. Whether they need a flyer or a website or they have a website and just need to figure out how to drive traffic to that website. We are more of a solutions provider than just a printer. But we are a one-stop shop. We love being part of the Infinity Park in Glendale community. We've been here for many years. Would love to have you come by and check us out. They got star-studded lineup up and down. Speed. Go, go, go! Nice! Oh, great try! <laughs> oh, boy, what an effort! Strength. Oh, he's absolutely crotched. Watch I'm this! Uh... <laughs> oh, God. Stamina. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I can watch that all day long. Cerebi Rugby Town 7s. Get your tickets now at RugbyTownUSA.com. Presented by World Rugby Shop and Adidas. Being away from home doesn't mean being away from your favorite shows. With Xfinity, you can stream over 50 networks live and Xfinity on demand on any device. Oh, oh that would be cool. It's like having your TV at the park. Oh! <laughs> you can even watch at the beach. Wow. It gives me a choice to enjoy what I like most, no matter where I'm at. That's paradise. TV that goes where you go. See for yourself. Download the Xfinity TV Go app today and get even more out of your entertainment experience. USA, the Division 2 final against the Sacramento Amazons against Wisconsin at the 2015 USA Rugby Emirates Elon Club National Championship from Infinity Park in Glendale, Colorado. Hello, you see sensations. I'm Dallas Stanford and with me is former Eagle legend Brian Smith. We're here yet again to crown another national champion. The Sacramento Amazons have done superbly to get to this year's final, but they'll be without two of their key experienced players, and they've taken a Wisconsin team looking for their first ever national title. Let's see how these teams ended up here today. Well, both of these teams had a long road to get to this final today. They had a round of 16 that they had to go through, and then on back-to-back -back days on May 30th and May 31st, they had the quarterfinals and the semifinals team. And for this Wisconsin women's team, this is their 40th anniversary. They were founded in 1975. And again, they have a lot of great players on this side. And they're fighting for their first national championship today based out of Madison, Wisconsin. And they cruised through the playoffs, defeating Cincinnati in the round of 16. Their closest win was against Burlington in the quarters, while Grace Hufty's five tries in the semifinal saw them get past Augusta. Now what's needed from them to lift that title today? Well, they need to play rock solid defense. They are not a big side, so they know they have to bring down these very powerful Sacramento runners. The set pieces have, all, have been key all season for Wisconsin to mount their attack. They need to be solid again today. And the bulk of Wisconsin scoring has come from their forward pack. They need to get their backs uh, scoring to put some tries on the board. They need to score as many tries as they can, obviously. And for this uh, Sacramento team, they got some big players on the side. It's going to be a big challenge for this Wisconsin ladies team. No, it certainly will be. And that uh, program in Northern California has been a hotbed for rugby in recent years. They were founded 12 years ago out of the high school rugby team. So a real growth there in the Northern California. And then in their playoffs, uh, they had some big wins. And their last game there was an absolute nail biter against Austin. And they won that by one point. So they've really shown a lot of heart to get here. And what does Sacramento have to do to find success today? Oh, well, today the key for them is going to be holding on to that ball, of course. If you can get your hands on pretty early, and they need to score first. Their coach is very keen, Safisa Green. They can get on the board first time, and of course, they need to control the contact area. And lastly, they're playing for each other. This is a national title. It's very rare that you end up here, of course, unless you're Brian Visit. So they are going to be absolutely up for this battle. We're ready for another thrilling one. As the Honey Badger says, they'll be busier than a one-armed bricklayer in Baghdad. So stay with us. We'll be right back with the first half kickoff.
Today's match from Rugby Town USA is brought to you by World Rugby Shop. World Rugby Shop is proud to be the official online retailer of USA Rugby. Get all your USA Eagles gear, team gear, and more at worldrugbyshop.com. And by Smith & Forge Hard Cider, a proud sponsor of your USA Eagles. A cider that's made strong in the fine tradition of making things strong. Smith & Forge Hard Cider, built from apples, built to refresh, made strong. And by Emirates Airlines. Rugby fans come together with Emirates, the official airline of USA Rugby. Enjoy our award-winning service to more than 140 destinations worldwide across six continents. Tomorrow brings us all closer to the game we love. Being away from home doesn't mean being away from your favorite shows. With Xfinity, you can stream over 50 networks live. And Xfinity on demand on any device. Oh, that would be cool. It's like having your TV at the park. Oh. <laughs> you can even watch at the beach. Wow. It gives me a choice to enjoy what I like most, no matter where I'm at. That's paradise. TV that goes where you go. See for yourself. Download the Xfinity TV Go app today and get even more out of your entertainment experience. It is going to be another pulsating game. And the both ladies' teams have done brilliantly to get here. But the Sacramento Amazons will be wearing their blue strip. And they're taking on the Wisconsin rugby side. Well, we're going to go downstairs for the National Anthem of America. Standing and kindly remove your caps for the National Anthem of the United States of America. Melissa Polar Bear, an exceptional player in the front row. Flanker Chris Peterson, she scored three tries in Wisconsin's quarterfinal win. Winger Sybil Levine is the fastest player on the team, so they want to get her the ball. Liz Robinson just graduated from med school, playing her last game with the club. Also the last match for the Wisconsin captain, Jessica Berta, who's retiring after 20 years of rugby, 12 with Wisconsin. And Wisconsin is coached by Bob Jeffress. Take a look now 
at the Sacramento Amazons. And they're led by their live wire, CU Green, wearing the number six jumper today. Actually, Green is in seven, I see on that sheet there. And look up front, Palasu is an absolute monster with ball in hand. And in the back, she's got to look out for the French Flyhawk sensation, is her last name. And they are coached by Zafi C. Green. She has done a wonderful job with this team. And you look at the support and fans that come out here. Wisconsin rugby on the map yet again here in this national champion final. And Biz, we're in for a cracking 80 minutes. Oh, it should be a wonderful 80 minutes. And again, there you see the referee, Val Griffith. She does a good job. She came up yesterday, paid a visit to us in the booth. But, uh, you know, we've seen three Cracker Jack finals so far, and I don't see why these other two aren't going to be in. And how about Wisconsin in the red, going uh, right to left, Sacramento in the blue and white. But uh, how about hats off to Wisconsin? Both their men's and women's clubs reached the final this year. Their men lost a heartbreaker just moments ago, so I think these ladies are going to come out far enough trying to uh, bring home one championship at least. They certainly need to. So here we go. Val Griffith, the former Eagle sensation. She'll get us underway, assisting her is Chris Brewer and Kevin Barry on the uh, sidelines. And we are in for another intense national championship. Second last game for today here. History in the making, the ball bubbles, doesn't go 10 meters, so it'll be a free kick on the halfway line. Do I re-kick or scrub? Scrub on the halfway line is what I meant. It's not seven aside rugby anymore, is it? <laughs> <laughs> There's enough seven, uh, Cerevi rugby town sevens coming our way, but uh, this is all this 15. Way, it's uh, Sacramento right elected to go for the scrub. Good attacking position, not the start Wisconsin probably wanted off that first kick. Speaking of sevens as well, they bring me the USA uh, team, the men and women's are qualifying as we speak right now. In the NACRA sevens to qualify for the Olympics. And you know, Dallas, this Wisconsin team, always a smaller of uh, their opponents usually in every game, and today's no exception. They gotta play stellar defense again against some of these big, powerful Sacramento runners. And so here we go, Denita Ahrens. She looks for Haley French. French throws a dummy, beats the first two tacklers, takes up play to the halfway line. Now they got some of the forwards wrapping. That was Weber. They work to the short side. The ponytail blowing in the wind. And from CU Green. And now getting the hooker, Shamila Green involved. Steaming up. Oh, oh, get off me, she says. Tiny is her nickname. And boy, can Talini Fee now move. She's going to be dangerous all day. Green yet again, making those meters. Amazon put a very positive start here. French now sets her outside, backs away. Looking for the wrap and the fend. Still going through, great thing is Fiha Schaff up the middle. French spots a little gap near the ruck, takes it in herself. And now Tiny, oh! Another monstrous hit. This time the tackler brings it to the deck, and for a sin she gets trampled. Gotta get out faster. Red three. Yeah, Melissa Polar Bear, I think I caught with that, but uh, there was no place to go, really. <laughs> Tiny feet now. Boy, she's a big runner, huh? They uh, really have to keep, keep a hold on her, bring her down low, just like uh, Melissa Polar Bear just did. And now Sacramento, the first opportunity for points on the boat. Here you see Melissa Polar Bear laying back there. She's trying to squirrel out of there, but she's kind of trapped in. The referee said, nope, you've been hanging out long enough. Instant replays are brought to you by Smith & Forge Hard Cider. Built from apples, built to refresh, made strong. Yeah, that was a strong start indeed from the Amazons. Great name though, Polar Bear. Melissa Polar Bear. Yeah. Helga is her nickname. Reminds one of uh, Matt Hawkins, AKA the Polar Bear, the yep. USA Men's Sevens team for a season as well. Now an opportunity here for first points, penalty kick. Low strike, and it's over. 3-0, the Amazons take an early lead with a great kick from Erica Lane. World Rugby Shop is proud to be the official online retailer of USA Rugby. You get all your USA Eagles gear and more at worldrugbyshop.com, especially with the uh, Rugby World Cup coming up. You want to get all your favorite team's gear. Great provider of apparel is World Rugby Shop. Wisconsin 
ladies kick off. This time it goes 10 meters. And knocked backwards by the Amazon ladies, so it's play on. Wow. looking run on the outside there from Suzanne Iwataite. They call her the tank, and you can see why. Back. Going back a little bit, though. Defense is pretty solid here from Wisconsin. Swarming in those red jerseys. They need to get Tiny involved there if they want to get that ball out. French, quick hands. Solid tackle coming in on Schaff. She goes backwards, taking play back inside the 22, so they can't kick directly into touch. Oh, get off me again. Defend the don't argue. Oh, the old Russian handshake from Bien Palasu. Dangerous runner as well. Amazon seems to be pretty stacked with them as Shimala Green tries to cut loose back on the inside. The counter ruck. Players off their feet a little bit. That is Green right now. Earlier run was from Jessica Navarra. Green seven. Now they move it to the outside. Running onto that is Benita Ehrens. Amazon really building the phases here in this first part of the game. Ball comes out, trying to weave and step back in is Hausen. And Beth Hausen wasn't able to control that as she got flung to the deck. So a chance for Wisconsin. Hey, Brewer, my hand. You know, Wisconsin's been strong on D all year long. That's one of the strong suits, but they're going to be really hands. tested today by these big Sacramento Amazon Brewer, runners. They keep their legs turning. They're big girls and big strong run let's see if we can take the see the knock on right here right at the end there's the tackle thank you and again the bend but no break defense so far by this wisconsin team five minutes into the game most of the attack has been by the amazons Touch. Thank you. had some lethal runners in tiny coach some other great Fines. new sports as well i'm sure we're going to say their names quite a few times set Put a good Daddy size advantage Ray. on the opposite numbers wisconsin a good look at seeing them that is Grace Kuti in there involved. And now Johnson. Jen Johnson on the outside. To Blajek. They've got a bit of space to move here. Oh, there that's Robinson. Great speed. Inside. Stepping and weaving. Oh. Wide pitch. Excellent Come tackle on, on her. On. Wisconsin looking extremely dangerous now all of a sudden. And that is Hoopdi now. The eighth man. Grace, the uh, USA Eagle under 20 player. They got to come back to this left side. Backwards. Yeah. Says the referee. And the ball stolen by the Amazons. Wow, Wisconsin looking really dangerous ball in hand there, but couldn't make anything oh, of it in the end. There. Lost four in the tackle by Blue. So the knock on Val Griffith says coming away from Amazons. Boy, but look. Good set of wheels there from Justin Whitepitch. Yeah, it looked like Christina Weber might have stole that ball for Saracen or uh, the Sacramento Amazon. Yeah, but I think Wisconsin had a couple opportunities there. They had a two on one that passed back inside, might have done some damage. Right out here, it gets out wide, but she has help on the inside. Does wide pitch, but she took. She, then she went back inside. That nullified that. But if she passed that just a split second earlier, it could have proved uh, dividends for this Wisconsin team. A lot of space on that right side of this scrum. Don't be surprised to see him go that way. So look at Hoopty at the back. Yep, Hoopty was getting up to go. They get a full-on penalty. They'll tap and go. Hoopty goes quickly. She takes it straight up into the teeth of the defense. Just outside the 22, Wisconsin on attack. Now they find Becker. Becker ducks under the first. Wrapping around there is a loose board, Justine Peterson. Peterson's got to stay in field and does. Wisconsin commit a lot of numbers to get that ball back. Now they work. The very narrow blindside, Peterson again from Eastern Massachusetts. Cut out pass to Johnson. Looking for the outside Ooh. backs. Monstrous tackle coming out on Liz Robinson. And the ball gets squirted loose, so the Amazons get it. And a great bit of defense from them. Here's some Sacramento. Have a 3-0 lead so far. And now they look to move it out wide. French gets the hands through. Oh, and the fend as well. Two and one here. Got to get some space on the outside and do. Erica Lane. Lane with a fend. Keep the change, she says. <laughs> Still going strong. Takes up play to the halfway line. Excellent ball carry from the wing three quarter. French is in there. And the fly is not afraid to mix it up with the forwards. Counter-ruck is solid coming in, but players and bodies all from the side. 
Got to get our Foster in support. Boy, some enterprising play Excuse by me. both these sides and good defense as well. On the five. Uh, Erica Lane, if she gets it out in the open, she's a, a pretty big wing, winger as well. Oh, wonderful kick as well. It was a short, a difficult angle to work with. Nice uh, spiral kick. And they will get a liner on the 10-meter line. <laughs> here's a, here's a stiff arm by Lane. Yeah, come back for more. Yeah, I'll give you another helping. That's the old Russian handshake. We've come to see, and she just steps over her politely as she goes on the outside. One of the bigger wings in women's rugby. So dangerous with ball in hand. Shamila Green doesn't oh, find her target. Taken. Great steal here from Wisconsin. Good play by the hooker, Alyssa Becker. Oh, but it's come back the other way, and now it's picked up by Green again for the Amazons. Two, you got a release. Holding on, Green gets pinged. Side. They only have three reserves on the bench, so they will be challenged in this 80-minute game. Already some of their players are walking. Yeah, I think that's going to really hurt them at the end. We've seen all the teams so far, they've used the reserve bench uh, pretty much. All the players have come on. You see the fans enjoying the day here, but it's a little warmer if you're playing out on the pitch. And uh, again, there's some, some uh, it's going to be some tired women for this Amazon team at the end of this game. Wisconsin, celebrating their 40th anniversary, you said. They've come out of their numbers. Goes to the front, great take. Becker with a good throw, and now scooped up by the fullback, Ashley Shaw. Shaw's only a second year playing rugby. Doing a great job so far. Robinson on the outside to find wide pitch. Wide pitch with a great wraparound to Levine. Levine on the outside. Patiently throws it back in to Robinson. Excellent interplay from the outside backs of Wisconsin. Picking going from the forwards. Polar Bear is in there as well. And Amanda Stoltz. Just getting a few meters. Still keeping their forwards close to that ruck. Now they're picking and going. Big collision there with Tiny. Now they look for their backs. Johnson on the outside to Robinson with the wraparound. And it goes to White Pitch. Inside, White Pitch has got it. gas. Oh, White Pitch won't be stopped. Rounding them like park cars. Oh, and she gets a bit of cheese for her efforts. A great score. Well, I thought she needed some help inside, but White Pitch had lots of speed on the outside. The Wisconsin under 23 select player. First year playing with a Wisconsin rugby club, but she has a lot of fun on the pitch out there. She may not be the biggest girl, but she's got some speed. Here's the pass, it gets out wide. Thought right then, maybe she needs a little help, but she just had confidence, pinned her ears back. Nice try by White Pitch. It really is a great battle of those wingers. You've got the slider built Justine White Pitch, who's got plenty of speed on the outside, but then again, if the ball gets to an opposite number, Erica Lane will just run her over. So it really is two contrasting styles. And this conversion attempt from Elisa Becker, the transport engineer, former high school football kicker. And now she turned her attention to rugby. Left foot style, and wow, what a kick indeed. You can see that it's good. So it's 7-3, Wisconsin lead. Rugby fans come together with Emirates, the official airline of USA Rugby. Enjoy our award-winning service to more than 140 destinations worldwide across six continents. Tomorrow brings us all closer to the game we love. Fly Emirates, hello tomorrow. Great strike indeed from Elissa Becker. You can see she has all the skills of a football kicker as well. Probably a bit easy to kick right ball too. Oh yeah. You know, I really like the way Wisconsin's throwing the ball around. No, they look really good when uh, they have combinations. They recycle well. Their forwards are mobile. Their backs are good. And uh, if they keep the ball spread, keep the ball moving around, I think it's going to tire out the Sacramento team. And especially with a short bench like you mentioned, that's going to come back to really hurt them late in the stages. It certainly will. They can't rumble it up with some of these big fours. It's a nice good fend. Tied it up there. That's taken in from Stoltz. Wow. She's not even making an attempt oh, to get out Oh, and Tiny is just rumbling over there. It's penalty there, just yeah. being an absolute nuisance at the breakdown. Not 10. So they're tapping and going. Wide pitch. <laughs> finding her way through again. Can you believe it? 101. Stepping. Back inside. Great offload. And this time it's Amanda Stoltz following up. 
and the knock-on comes in there, but wow, electric is a wide pitch. Well, she hasn't been playing the game that long, but uh, she's certainly looked pretty good there, taking the quick tap penalty. Going right at the Sacramento and Amazon's team. And she did well here. Well, they, uh, there's a little tap right there. Should have been handled. That was knocked down by Polar Bear. Yeah, I think she saw the try line 22 meters ahead of her. She <laughs> took her eye off the ball just slightly. Chance here for the Sacramento Amazons to get their hands on the ball again. It's been pretty energy sapping stuff. They've had to defend Go. left and right. Five. And they got a lot of them have got hands on hips already. Set. And it's only 15 minutes played in this first half of the women's D2 final. If you're just joining us, we're here at Infinity Park as French, Haley French, looks for an offload. Finds her center three quarter in Beth Alzen. Red nine, behind the ball. Come back for offsides play. And it was pinged there was Emily Massandre. Yeah, just cheating a little bit too much on her opposite. Trying to create a turnover. That's coming right up here. Let's see if we can take a look at okay. Master Andrea cheating a little bit. Uh, referee's a lot closer than we were, she called it. Now it's going to be an Amazon throw in. Let's we'll see how they are in the line out here. I like the mobility of this Wisconsin forward pack. Oh, oh a challenge is stolen. Control tap that went back. Referee said, good job. Nice big hit up there. That's tiny. Yeah, bony, bone crunching oh. tackle there. That's what you got to do, yeah. Good job. Perfect job by Tiny. Is it going to go down? But it went. Here's a run. I think that's long enough. Well, we're going to turn it over anyway. It's going to come back the Amazon way. Yes. Now they set it up. Through their forwards. French, the cutout pass goes to the back. Not able to be taken cleanly. So trying to step and weave her magic away is Rachel Gonzalez. Big, powerful counter right coming from Wisconsin, but all the forwards are to the right-hand side here. Oh, nice little flick. Through the legs. Now the forwards arrive, it's Tiny. Oh, Tiny <laughs> bulldozing her way through. Three players on the deck, just a wake of bodies. Looks like Jurassic Park out there. Now picking to go in the same way, Shamila Green. There she is now. Green with the ball. She throws it back as she gets pulled to the ground. The player on the deck as well for the Sacramento Amazons. That's not good because they only have three substitutes. There's two down. My time. Catherine. And let's have a listen here to You guys Rick aren't getting Green. out fast enough. Yeah, uh, okay. I'll warn everybody. Tackle's got to get out. Yeah, okay. Yes. Not getting up fast enough, so a team warning from Valerie Griffith as we have an injured player on the deck. George Hard Cider is a proud sponsor of your USA Eagles. It's a cider that's made strong in the fine tradition of making things strong. Smith and Forge Hard Cider, built from apples, built to refresh, made strong. I, I was going to say yes. Do you want to take her off and evaluate her? Yeah. Okay. Five. Eight, you have to come off. Five. Yeah, and Biz, later this Eight. year, we got another great he, clash coming up. In, this he's is going to be the USA, USA team yes. taking on the there's, Harlequins. There's no and that match is going to be played at PPL Park on August 30th. You can get tickets at Ticketmaster.com. And just a great opportunity to watch the Eagles before they head to the Rugby World Cup. Yeah, and Harlequin's a storied franchise over in the UK. And uh, again, last time the US played there, I believe, was against the New Zealand Maori. Had a really good showing in that game. Uh, There's a great crowd on hand, an electric atmosphere inside. And I'm sure this upcoming game is going to be just exactly the same. Yeah, it will indeed. So, Ticketmaster.com for your tickets. Meanwhile, we've got now Tiny has to go off and take a concussion test, which is part of the protocol in US Rugby, which is fantastic to see in place. So she's off right now, and while she's off, uh, the play will continue. So Amazon's Sacramento back on attack, and Lane on the outside, bending and going. Lane pushing them off like flies. Navarro, and that's CU Green bending them as well. Sacramento's got a bit of life back in them. Excellent steaming run from Fahey Shaft. Runs up to that with good speed. They may have lost this. No, they've got some bodies there. Now they come to Palasu. 
also a strong body ball carrier. French on the outside. Face to move here. Thrown it back inside and it's been knocked on. And so the Amazons give up possession yet again. Look promising. Yeah, it almost looked like it was toe to head, but the referee is really close to the spot. She said it was a knock on. Squeeze ball, it's got to Blue's got to be full, or, uh, full strength, right? Here's a little pop pass. Oh, yeah, just tried to get the hands on it. Yeah, Looks like I think that was Jessica Navarro that couldn't handle that ball. So there's going to be a Wisconsin foot in here. So are they a player down? Because I don't see they, they should be full strength, I would think. Five. Looks like there's no eighth man in the back. Set. Set even. Yeah, down to the That's concussion perfect. protocol, you'd think it's like a blood bin where you have somebody who can yeah. come in and replace the player, otherwise you wouldn't want to go off. So they're attacking now, and this time it's through Ashley Shaw. Great speed. Beats the first, lays it back nicely. And here we go, Wisconsin back on attack now. Oh, but they give up a penalty. Holding on. Great sigh of relief for the Sacramento Amazons. No, here. Mark's here. Mark's here. Good opportunity here for the Amazons to get a pick up a little bit of territory, set up that line out nicely inside the 22 meter line. Oh, nice kick inside the 22. Great spiral kick Our indeed. So they get a chance to set their line out. Like to stay in my ear, so Let's count their numbers. Looks, look, looks like 14 or? to me. Okay. Yeah, 14 out there. So Tiny looks like she may have finished six her test. Red, red six. Not sure if she passed. Yep, she's walking back towards the field, so that's a good sign. Great line out steal from Wisconsin. Balls on the deck though, picked up from the Amazon. Going back and forth here. I think Wisconsin ends up with it in the end. Under pressure. Hoof it downfield. Big kick. Gonzalez comes in to collect. She'll look for the counter attack. She's got Lane on the right. Ashley Lane, if she can use her. Erica Lane, in fact. Oh, good ruck by Wisconsin. Great counter ruck indeed. It's a foot race right now. Wants a beat. Cuts them back on the inside. Oh, skidding them on the inside. And that is a great finish. Justine White pitch. And why not? What a great score. Yeah, nice movement. Once that ball got out wide and it got free, it got space into the hands of White Pitch. We've seen her wheels earlier today, and she just displayed them again. She had help on this one as well, but didn't need it. There's the quick ball. Referee said play on on that one. And there's White Pitch. That was a big play right there. The cut back inside. Then she had the pace. Then she had the pace to outdistance the uh, Amazon cover defense. Big try, 12 to three now with a conversion to follow. Melissa Becker made a nice conversion attempt last time, different conversion. Let's see if she can add her second here today. Right feet, former football kicker. Great left edge catch boots. Uh, this time stayed. that would put the mark on her. It's wide, it's 12 three though, Wisconsin lead. Now another Eagle match coming up September 5th at Soldier Field. The United States hosts Australia in another pre-World Cup battle. Just before they go over to the World Cup, that'll be their last game before they head to the UK. But again, looking forward to that one. There was 60,000 people for the All Blacks game. It was a great event. Chicago really came out in full force and should be another wonderful event coming up in September. Oh, that's going to be another cracker. Good chance to see the Eagles in action as well as some legendary Australian players. Craig Cooper, he can step people in a phone booth. Australia. Last time played the Eagles, we said, was back in 2011. So a good time they meet again, this time on USA soil. Erica, Erica Lane gets us started again. And it's picked up here by Jill Lehman. Her two sons, Ben and Brandon, are watching this feed right now. But now it's picked up from the Amazon. And Brianne Paslu with the ball. Oh, difficult oh. one to carry. French couldn't hold that. Tough pass for her indeed. Didn't do any favors there, did Denise Aarons. So at least Tiny's back on the field, so back to 15 on 15. 
Mark your calendar for the Serevi Rugby Town 7s at Infinity Park in Glendale, August 14th through 16th. Tickets on sale now at RugbyTownUSA.com slash Serevi. World Class Rugby is back. Should be another great weekend of rugby. I mean, last year, remember the guys, last year, remember the, the up-and-coming players we saw? And at the Serevi 7s, don't forget Glendale's beer, fa beer Fest is back. That's on Saturday, August 15th, 12 noon to 4 p.m. at Infinity Park. Tickets are on sale at GlendaleBeerFest.com. But some of those up and coming, I remember Madison Hughes made right. his debut, at least to the nation, at the Sereve 7s. Now look at what he's doing, carving up international teams around the world. And uh, Io, uh, Sefa, what is it, Ios, Iosefa? Iosefa? Yeah, Iosefa, Martin Iosefa well. was fantastic. You know, some of those other Eagle games coming up pre-World Cup. The match in uh, San Jose at Via Stadium, July 18th. Another doubleheader, Canada taking on Japan, U.S. battling Samoa. And uh, again, uh, that's another World Cup preview. Those are actually uh, an opponent the United States is going to be playing. That's right. right. Over. We, actually, uh, we actually spoke to Mike Tolkien, who is here, and that's another game they'll be playing on July 24th. Another doubleheader again, and that is Fiji, Samoa, and USA, Japan, as we said. Um, and he was very excited for the summer. He said he's got a lot of... A lot of players he's pulled into the squad, and they, they're getting really ready for this. They've got a lot of fixtures coming up. We know in August, September, the calendar is full. Oh, yeah. It's going to be very exciting. And not to mention what's going on at the World Cup. That's all pre-World Cup. That's right. right a, back lot more here. a lot more tests being played, right, Viz, when you were playing for the Eagles? Play, yeah. Played two or three games a year, right? Slightly. That we didn't do a whole lot. <laughs> Back to the play, it's 12-3, Wisconsin lead. I tell you, if you're Wisconsin, I'd put one-on-one -on -one wide pitch against uh, her opposite, Erica Lane. She's got the wheels. If she can just give her a little step inside, then cut outside, I think that's there all day. Especially with a lot of space we have here on the short side. Yep. So that was a huge scrum by the Amazons, and it's going to be turned over ball. Good scrum by the Amazons. They needed something right there, and they got it. And it's good to see also... That tiny Fina was back at the number eight position for Sacramento. I wonder if she had anything to do with that scrum. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming she did, yeah. I do love nicknames too, though. I saw her. There's the, there's the oh, great the scrum. There it is. Just get push. driven back, yeah. I saw her nickname on the sheet, and I was like, I look forward to seeing her in action. She's definitely not going to be anything but small. So tough to bring down. The 23 year old nine years of rugby. Not a bad shot by Wisconsin. It, it's going to be turned around the other way. Uh, we got a boring against uh, Sacramento. Full arm penalty for Wisconsin. That's a nice reply by the Wisconsin forward pack. Wow, they boomed uh, it down towards us. Don't get, get many meters, but they get the line out in the end. Yeah, not a whole lot of territory picked up. Yeah, you can't take it. Even though it's your put it, you can't there's the boring right there, but you can't take any scrums off. Even though you just had a great scrum the last time, you can't take any scrums off as you're put in. Now let's see what Wisconsin do with this lineup. You know what I like about Wisconsin, they're stealing ball in the opposition lineup, but they can't afford those tap backs. They gotta have control taps. Let's see if they bring it down two-handed here. They've been able to fling their jumpers up pretty high. Yeah, they have quite some light bodies there. Good for Lehman, wearing five. This time they go to the front, they got a little plan move. They wrap around the short side. They get it back to Becca. Forward pass there. You know, I haven't, I haven't seen a front peel in a long time. At Ombak, we used to do a great job with Sean Allen, who would just pinch the opposition. I mean, it was a risky thing, but he would just pinch that hooker in and it would leave that whole inside channel open. And it's great to see the teams trying to do some of these front peels. Yeah, and you've got to credit their coaching staff, uh, Bob Jefferis and Kim Diston, for all their work in the forward pack especially. I love to see options in the lineup. I love to see variations. Keeps the opposition on their toes. Five. Certainly does. Well. And Della is not happy with the binding. Talking to Sarah Buck. So just having a look probably on this Wisconsin side of things. Amazons look pretty set. Boy, Wisconsin's low. Look at how low yeah. that front row is. Five. Set. Set it. Much better 
scrum. The ball comes out now. French running across field, looking for a switch. Oh, great fan. Gonzalez in the gap. Back to the outside center to Schaff. Now French again. Great looping around. Excellent skills. Schaff still with the ball. They have a lot of numbers to the right if they can move it to their forwards or side. Tiny comes streaking in. Oh, you better have health insurance. Oh, she bumps him out of the way, as we said. Oh, it's just a car accident waiting to happen right there. Stepping and going in. Sarah Buck. A lot of bruised bodies out there already. Pasalu. She leaves a few more players in her wake. Now they go to the left-hand side. Green. Overhead pass. Not able to find her winger on the outside, but some dangerous stuff indeed. That was the best uh, retention of ball that we've seen from this Amazon squad. They really look good, and when Tiny came in, she bashed two players right out of the way, set up good quality ball. And again, you gotta have some patience when you're down by that goal line. They had about three or four people out wide. This was a nice pass. Ah, that's the wild pass right there. No need. You gotta set it up, just set the tackle if you have to. Yeah, that was Beth Hausen. Oh, beautiful. Look at Great take high. in the front there from Peterson. The ball's kicked over the top, so a counter attack here for the fullback, Gonzalez. She steps. Oh, beats the first two pretty easily, and the third. Plays it back nicely. Now it's Amazon's back in possession. This is what they want. They've got another crack at it. Taken up by Green. Look for Dickey as well. Oh, another monstrous hit. I'm surprised the Wisconsin ladies are managing to get up after these ferocious knocks. Green taking the play well inside the 22. The Sacramento Amazons looking for their first try in this game. Just a, looks like it might might be a steal here from McCormick. And the ball's hoofed upfield, but taken again from Amazons. Still keeping the pressure on here inside the 22. Very tough to get a big clearance kick away. Now the ball squirts loose. Haley French dives on it. But Wisconsin have snaffled that. And that's Christine Peterson. It's going to be brought down, though. It's held up in a tackle right now. Now it's hit the deck. Peterson, the nurse. And it has come the other way. French <laughs> has it now. It's back and forth stuff here. But a ping pong going, drifting across field. And that was ends. Now it's picked up. Amazons keeping their forwards tight. Picking and driving. This is what got them here into the national final. Tiny. Bulldozing her way over. She might be trampling bodies. It might be held up, I think. Wow. Yeah, that's what you do. You just throw your body in the try zone then so she can't down and dot the ball down. It looked like a Emily Mastandria, the scrum half, got under that ball, kept that ball from being grounded by the powerful number eight, Tiny Finau. Let's see if we can take a look at it. There's Tiny. Yeah, and then you just throw yourself on the ground underneath. There's no way she could have grounded that ball. Is bending, but no break defense by Wisconsin. Holding true, they still got a lot of pressure. It's going to be a scrum down to the Amazons. And again, don't be surprised to see Tiny Finau pick this one out of the scrum. Yeah, a lot of put, put their bodies on the line, literally, the Wisconsin ladies. They need to keep up that defensive pressure if they can. Now it comes out. Oh! It went back, backwards. says referee. Wow. Straight down, so Denise Inez plays on. Now. Did brilliantly to keep the ball alive. So expect the pick and goes. They go the short side with Green. Tiny Finau must be waiting for it. Really close to the line right now. Great defense. Goal line uh -oh. starts. Finau <laughs> collapses and leaves a hole in the track. And they're diving over and try awarded. And the little nuggety halfback, Danita Aarons. Scores a great try after continued pressure from the Sacramento Amazons. And what a time to score for her side in the national final. But good pressure by that Sacramento Amazon forward pack. They kept the pressure on, kept pounding and pounding at that line. And finally the scrum half, she sees a little opening. Dots down right in the corner. Didn't need a whole lot of uh, 
that distance there. She, she saw an opening, took it, easy dot down. Nice yeah. score. And she's from Richvale, California, a population of 145. So right unbelievable athlete uh, that has been produced there from Richvale, California. And Danita is 5'2", she says, with shoes on. So I wonder what type of shoes, if those are high heels or if those are just the uh, flats. Kick to come, 12-8. The Wisconsin side lead. That kick won't have the legs, so it's 12-8. The score remains. We're building off USA Rugby's presence on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Google+. USA Club Rugby is excited to promote club-specific content on social media. Connect with Club Rugby today at www.facebook.com slash USA Club Rugby. Nice. Start of young here. But beautiful day. It's really turned out to be a gorgeous day here. Yesterday we saw the rain come, a big delay in the women's game. Yeah, so the rain delay, as you said, and the lightning was coming down yesterday, but today the sun is shining. Three classic clashes here. We just crowned the men's three champion. And then from Wichita. That was a strong run. Bulldozing run. And that was Janine Dickey. Oh, thunderous push off to the. We're still going. Can you believe it? Wow, like a freight train off the rails. And move it now. Looking for that little switch back in field. Schaff. She takes it up. She fights for the possession. Strong carry from Dickey. Very impressed with their Ford pack from the Amazons. We expect them to tire any time now. Bumping and knocking people to the deck. So it seems to have come both ways, and in the end, penalty gets given up, hands in the ruck. They're going quickly, and it's through Peterson. Peterson on the outside. Beats a couple of players. Gets the team back on attack and the crowd come alive. Almost offsides there from the defenders. And now it's Amanda Stoltz with a big carry, but it's a turnover. If they can move it out here to lane, it'll be one on one. No, they go back in to the midfield. Like to see Erica Lane on the outside, one on one. So still possession here with the Sacramento Amazons. And we're joined with an expert guest right here. Eagle sensation, prop forward, legend on field, the okay? field here for the Glendale Raptors and for the okay? USA Eagles, Sarah Shabbat. I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right, but uh, no, welcome to the it. show. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. So tell us what's happening. I know you're joining the US Eagles uh, in the summer. What uh, You've got a competition coming up with New Zealand, Canada, and England. Yeah, the new Super Series, so it's uh, for the top six teams. Um, it's pretty exciting. Um, the team is really fresh faces, completely new. Um, it'll be an interesting dynamic, and boy, am I excited to see kind of what happens and see where the future of USA Rugby is, huh? That's right, only five players returned from the World Cup last year, right? Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah, and most of those are, um, we, we're returning a, a 10, and then most of it's all right in the, that front row. Wow, that experience, you can't buy experience indeed, as. They come away with this ball right now, it's Wisconsin. They have possession, looking to get another try on the board. They move it wide. One more. On the outside. Stepping in, weaving her magic. Oh. She won't be touched again. <laughs> Wonderful stuff, wide pitch. Gets a hat trick. Unbelievable finish from her indeed, wow. Hey, it looked like you from over on the outside there. <laughs> Maybe with a little bit she's more a, pace, yeah. She's a scoring machine, I read. She's, yeah. she's got three tries, three international tries. You scored two against yeah, New Zealand, two, right? Yeah, two. Nice. Um, Talk us through the score right here. So basically, they're just trying to, Wisconsin's trying to attack wide, and, and I don't blame them because Sacramento's forwards are so dominant. And then uh, I kind of expected her to try to turn the corner, and she just slipped inside, and then one more slip of the tackle, and away she goes. That's, and that's wide pitch, third try today. She really has been electric. She's 
a lot smaller than opposite number uh, uh, Erica Lane, who bulldozed her over in the first half. But I mean, you can't argue with speed, can you? Not on those corners, that's for sure. Um, you know, it's kind of interesting. This game's really interesting because I think Sacramento, with its size and its power, wants to play a significantly more vertical game. Um, but Wisconsin's doing a great job of keeping possession and then spinning it wide to its little speed devils. And now we're going to talk quickly about the WPL. What a great competition that's been happening here for USA Rugby. Yeah, I mean, you have the top top eight teams in the country, and it's nice for as far as competition-wise. And, and that's one of the biggest things, I think, with USA Rugby is we just don't play enough. You compare yourself to some of the English leagues and e even Canada, for that matter. Um, but, yeah, it's a great competition platform for sure. And uh, uh, you've played in, in two seasons in the WPL? Or uh, no, no. <laughs> I'm about to date myself here in a minute. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've played, uh, I've played since the WPL came in. Wow. So Brilliant. I've played every season of the WPL. That's fantastic. Have you seen the play improve over the years? Yeah, I mean, th and and I was going to say, like, the level between the top, the top four teams and the bottom four of the WPL has closed drastically. And then even, I think, you watched yeah, last night's Division One champion, you know, they give they give even the top four teams of the WPL a run. And I think that's a credit to USA Rugby and the development that's going on. I mean, even this game, a D2 game, there's great pattern, there's offloads, things like that. There's a great defensive structure. Now, we've, you've, we've talked about the forward dominance by Sacramento, but they got the small bench today, and they're Wisconsin are running around a bit. We think that second half, that, that could toll on them and, and tire this big forward pack out. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's a hot day, first of all. And, um, I mean, that's kind of like the, the double-edged sword, essentially, of having a, such a big, big, beefy, heavy right. heavy pack is, is you, you run into that. It's hard to carry that weight, you know, especially when you're going up against a smaller opponent. And vice versa, though, as a smaller opponent, um, I'm fairly small in the international game. It, it wears on you when you have 40 minutes of a, of, of a heavier prop just laying on you. Um, I was surprised, though. I figured that Sacramento would be a little bit more dominant in the scrum piece. Uh, but, you know, there's two turnovers down here. Wisconsin put a great loose head wheel on, and away they went. But they've been great on defense all year long, Wisconsin. They've always been the smaller team, so they're used to bigger opponents. And, you know, they just sucked it up, and they know they're going to face a big, tough physical team and have really done pretty well so far today. Uh, they certainly have, and they're up 19-8 right now. Position is coming the way for the Sacramento Amazons. Oh, all sorts of pressure going on here. And that was Aaron's. Whirling and swirling. And so play on, says the referee. Tiny has the ball. She lays it back. They're doing hard work with their forwards. Sarah Buck is in there as well. The loose ball is just standing out, as we just said. Looking very lethargic. Nobody's running onto the ball. And we're only two minutes away for the end of this first half. 11 points separates these two teams right now. Wouldn't the Amazons want to score just before the half? Well, they need to, I think, Alan. I, need, I think they need to get some additional points on the board with that second half coming up. And bustling it up. There they go. Oh. That's what they need. A little bit of an ejection from Tiny Finau. She lays it back. And Wisconsin try to get in there. Try to steal that. If they can move the ball to the right-hand side here, yeah, we've got Lane on the outside. So a penalty. Playing the ball on the ground. It looked like Ashley Shaw was playing that ball on the ground, Alan. Now let's see what Sacramento does. They only have about a minute 15 left. It looks like they're going to kick for touch, try to get a little closer, set up that line out. No, don't kick it. I think that's a good call. Going or they, no, I think they're going to tap. Well, that might be an option too, given it's tiny. <laughs> now they bring it to play. Oh, my. That was a massive tackle there. And see you, Green, the captain, putting her body on the line. Still smashing it up here. Now Shimela Green. And now they move it out. French to the outside. Chef looking for Gonzalez. And there's Lane on the outside. Oh, this time. Lane, oh, no, she doesn't get tackled. Cuts back in. Takes them all on herself. I'd like to see Lane go on the outside, perhaps, and use her fend. One of these Amazon players is on the deck. So it's 15 against 14. Oh, weaving the magic. Oh, the little maestro. Over she goes. That was a little bit of genius. Like a sleek racing snake, Danita Ahrens touches down for a great five-pointer. What a response and just what they needed before halftime. 
Yeah, if you're the Amazons, you have to be feeling great about that. Um, Wisconsin put a little put put up some pretty good defense. Yeah. So she's just dummy, 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 and then basically Wisconsin. No one took no one took credit for the ball carrier. So it was it was a little bit of breakdown, and a lot of times when you when you see those breakdowns, it's it's just because of fatigue and tiredness. Um, when you get that way, you kind of look to your mate. You're like, oh, they got it, they got it. But then when no one nominates that tackle, you get yourself in a world of trouble and you're down five. You absolutely do. Everyone kind of stood around waiting for somebody yeah. else to get yeah. involved. Left them like park cars in the yeah. end, and off they went. Um, so while this kick comes through, also t tell us, what's it like playing at altitude? I haven't played here. You've played here for many, many times. Um, yeah, it's, it's a challenge, um, especially like when you're – the first time you get here, maybe maybe the first day is not so bad, but the second day. So like these guys have been here for a bit, so that's already kind of settling in on them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's definitely an advantage for us when we get teams that pop in. Brilliant. So there you have it. We're gonna have a quick break. We're gonna show you all the highlights when we come back in this pulsating game here at Infinity Park. It's the D2 final for the women, and Wisconsin have a narrow lead, 19 to 13. Since when did leaving a legacy mean going viral or getting on the popular page? When did 15 minutes of fame become 15 seconds? Let's grow business. Let's create jobs. Let's leave a legacy that matters. This business of Alphagraph is helping customers build communication solutions. We have a super unique opportunity to be able to complement what we have grown up doing. Which means business cards and letterhead envelopes and that sort of thing. Whether they need a flyer or a website or they have a website and just need to figure out how to drive traffic to that website. We are more of a solutions provider than just a printer. But we are a one-stop shop. We love being part of the Infinity Park and Glendale community. We've been here for many years. We'd love to have you come by and check us out. They got stars to the lineup up and down. Speed. Go, go, go! Nice! Oh, great try. <laughs> oh, boy, what an effort. Strength. Oh, he's absolutely <laughs> crunched. Watch <I> this. <laughs> oh, <God>. Stamina. <laughs> I can watch that all day long. Cerebi Rugby Town 7s. Get your tickets now at RugbyTownUSA.com. Presented by World Rugby Shop and Adidas. showing all the gas and the burners on the outside. Electric with ball in hand. That was her first of three tries she scored already in this first half. Not to be outdone, ball comes out again later. Bending, this time she's beating people like Park Cars, cutting back through in the middle, and that took the score to 12-3. But not to be outdone, the Sacramento Amazons came back with their forwards, hard pressure, and Danita Ahrens coming through in the end. The little nuggety scum off, picking and going, and she scores on the left-hand side, Great little bit of workman try by them to get back in the game. And then Justine Whitepitch finished off her hat trick. Had a little bit of work here. She cut back twice against the grain against the Sacramento defense to make it 19-8. But just at the death, Anita Aarons again got Sacramento on the board. And as Sarah said, it looked like uh, everybody's waiting for somebody else to do the job. Nobody did it. And Anita Aarons does down to make it a 19-13 halftime deficit. And so three tries to two. Wisconsin lead the Sacramento Amazons. And when we come back, we're going to bring you 40 minutes of pulsating action as we crown the D2 national champion here in the women's division. So stay with us. We'll be right back.
Today's match from Rugby Town USA is brought to you by World Rugby Shop. World Rugby Shop is proud to be the official online retailer of USA Rugby. Get all your USA Eagles gear, team gear, and more at worldrugbyshop.com. And by Smith & Forge Hard Cider, a proud sponsor of your USA Eagles. A cider that's made strong in the fine tradition of making things strong. Smith & Forge Hard Cider, built from apples, built to refresh, made strong. And by Emirates Airline. Rugby fans come together with Emirates, the official airline of USA Rugby. Enjoy our award-winning service to more than 140 destinations worldwide across six continents. Tomorrow brings us all closer to the game we love. place is perfect, or at least it will be, with a little help from Dex. In the book or at DexKnows.com, Dex can help you get results fast and deliver the best local advice so you can get it done right, right here, right now. We should do this more often. Dex, results for the here and now. Good and lucky here. I'm still employed just for the time being. Yeah, good luck to you, mate. Looking at the USA Eagles, in fact, we got a USA Eagle with us right now. It is Sarah Shabbat, who's the current sensation playing in the front row for the USA Eagles, joining us in the commentary booth. And uh, I'm Dallas Stanford, with me is Brian Visit. It is half time, and we've got 40 minutes left in this pulsating game. So give us some predictions here in the second half. <laughs> well, I don't know. This is a pretty good ball game. Amazons definitely have the advantage, you know, scoring right before that half with a great team effort try. Um, being from the Midwest, though, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be partial in the booth, which I think is a is a little bit uh, legal, but I'm gonna go here with Wisconsin. <laughs> I think yeah. the speed on the outside just gives them such an edge, and I think the forwards are gonna wear down the big Sacramento forwards. Yeah, I, I, mean, I agree as a yeah. Michigander and Midwesterner as well, but <laughs> I'm not biased. I just think that the uh, Wisconsin forwards very mobile, and I think they are gonna wear down this Sacramento team. If they had a bigger bench, I might change yeah. my mind, but. 
they only have one or two guys or players on the on the bench, and I think that's going to really hurt them at the end. Yeah, it will be tricky. And switching gears, talking a little bit about the Glendale program that you're a part of. Uh, tell us what's it like to play at a wonderful facility like this. Uh, it's amazing. I mean, to be honest, it's it's the reason why I moved here. Yeah. Um, I used to play for the Minnesota Valkyries, and and um, situations changed, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to the premier spot in the country and play some rugby. And you have uh, uh, several. Your teammates have played for the national team as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for a while it was yeah. it was pretty busy here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we have Jamie Burke, the all-time women's cap leader. Uh, Kittery Wagner, you know, a couple time forward player of the year. Uh, just an Eagles staple. Um, yeah, I mean, we've had so many just run through this program. Wow, that's amazing to see. And uh, now we're 40 minutes away from crowning a national champion here. It's the USA Rugby D2 Women's Final. And the ball gets taken cleanly on that side from Peterson. And the Wisconsin side have a slender 19-13 lead. They've scored three tries to two. And working through their forwards. And that is Grace Hoofdi. She's been pretty solid with ball in hand. Up against some of the bigger Amazon forwards. They're picking and going. They have to play smart rugby if they want to take this title. Now they look to shift through their backs. Johnson. Quick hands. Oh, cool. Good speed on the outside. Here we go. Stepping and weaving, seeing what she can do in the end. It's Justin White pitch. Justine scored two tries. She's on the other side, so the steal comes through. The Amazon have the ball. Great steal. Looks like Erica Lane that has taken that ball. Oh, and busting up the middle. Shamila Green. Someone's cleat gets thrown off in the distance. Oh, and Tiny. Oh, this time two players come in and smash her to the deck. She managed to get the ball away. And a great bit of basketball skill. Con ruck on the head is Go the call. Rucking around so the neck. Rucking around the neck. Bit of dangerous play there. So have you played with any of these players or against or with? You know, I, I haven't. I haven't personally played with, um, I mean, Tiny, I think, has made an appearance at a couple national team camps. Yeah. Um, there she's there. Yeah, talk us through her. Yeah, so <laughs> two-man job definitely on, <laughs> on the big number eight. She pulls her down with a pull go through tackle. Uh, right there is where she got her. Just kind of she slipped off with a head. That's kind of a little ticky tack for me, but uh, I'm a loose forward, <laughs> a forward type, so yeah. um, a big clearance kick here would be handy. There we go. Now, Sarah, you had a large camp recently, right, with some of the top young and veteran prospects for the USA women's team. Tell us about that, how that went. <laughs> Actually, I was I was not at camp. Oh. Um, I had some work issues, and it would be really hard for me to get the camp off and then for the time off for the Super Series, especially after asking for some time off for the World Cup. Um, but I can say, as far as the team, I'm really, really excited with the amount of youth that's there. Um, it'll be interesting, obviously, a real real learning experience for, for everyone involved, vets and the new players. A great opportunity to caps on the new players. Oh. Meanwhile, the ball goes through the legs of Johnson. She gets it on the wraparound. They're just shoveling it on the outside. Uh -oh. Oh. Couldn't pick it up in the end, so advantage here for the Amazon ladies. So nothing coming, they get the knock on there. I think they were looking for their speedster on the outside there. Just the white pitch, and why not when you've got gas to burn like that. So speaking of the youngsters, uh, I mean, that's pretty pretty exciting. Obviously, the uh, you're a veteran in the front row, and, and, and they're going to rely heavily on your experience, aren't they? Yeah, I, I think so. Um, I've had a couple conversations with Pete, and um, you know, it's it's really an opportunity for me to step up and lead uh, for so long that we had uh, veterans like Jamie Burke, like Kittery Wagner in that group. Um, you know, so it, it'll be an opportunity and a learning experience for myself for sure. No, it certainly will indeed. Scrum packs down here for the Amazons, and we'll see if they're going to use. They've got no defense on the left hand side initially to the Wisconsin team, so that's inviting Tiny to pick up and go, but they get the tight end in the scrum, and they pick up and go that side. And it's taken by Hoofdy for the Wisconsin team. Now taking a strong carry there from Peterson. Move it right now, it's a four on two. Straighten up, one more. Just drifting across the field though. Yeah, you're right, they're four on two. They need to straighten the line a little bit if they could. Yeah, we just needed one more, one player to just turn around, stop the defense, and then they would have had it hands away. Um, unfortunately, it was a missed opportunity for sure for Wisconsin. Um, yeah, you had asked earlier if I had uh, known anything about the Wisconsin players. I don't, I don't, oh. So basically here, 
they step, we're just drifting. Every player is drifting away, which makes it easy to defend the four on two. Um, and then 11 just ran herself right out of real estate. Guys, five mirror lines here, both gotta go five, okay? Yeah, you're talking about the Super Series. We'll get that back into, uh, into a second. We see Shamilla Green throwing in here for the Sacramento Amazons. They wanna get there. oh, that is not straight oh. at all. I'll go from the spot. Yeah, so tell us a bit more about the Super Series. This is a new competition, right? Yeah, it is. I think it, I think kind of what they're doing is replacing it with uh, the old Nations Cup. Um, so essentially South Africa has been dropped and we've added New Zealand. So we're going to definitely have our hands full because England w defending World Cup champions. Yeah, there was the nod in. Straight throw, easy call by the referee. <laughs> yeah, so England defending champions. Yeah, England defending champions. And then we have um, Canada, runner up. And then of course New Zealand, yeah. who who won five in a row, you know, had a tough draw against Ireland, and then we unfortunately had to see them again for five and six, and we just ran out of players at the World Cup. I mean, yeah, that's a great five. opportunity to test yourselves against the world's best. Uh, uh, I mean, Set. amazing to play against the quality of sides. So that's the summer series coming up later in July, end of June, beginning of July. As that oh. scrum gets spun a little bit, uh, it's a back and. And right there was the pressure that I thought the Sacramento forwards would, would apply this entire game. And I thought they would be a little bit more disruptive, but that's what I was looking for. <laughs> well, as a forward, I would not be pleased backing back 10 for that one, for sure. <laughs> Here we go again, attacking. That's Nilus Becker. Now they wrap around the side. Ooh. That's Melissa Polar Bear, one of the best names in world rugby. Johnson out of bootstraps. Going on the outside to Blajek. Defensive pressure coming in, but scooped up nicely by Peterson. Oh, and busting through. Hoopdi wants a beat. Gonzalez makes a stunning tackle to save a certain try. Wisconsin got their tails up. Numbers to the left if they can move it. Looking for their speedsters. And wide pitch was stopped there. But now still carrying on the pressure. USA National All Star Peterson Johnson in a distributing role. Megan Blajek now again looking for Peterson. Got his, got the right numbers there. Johnson on the outside. Oh, ball goes over the top of Sybil Levine. She took her eyes off the ball there. Looks to be hands in the ruck. Oh, but holding on is the original call. tough call there Sarah yeah it's a little bit hard especially since the player for Wisconsin was isolated yeah I think that's another wasted opportunity for Wisconsin as well they had it's plenty of numbers out wide on the left yeah a lot of it just seems to be a concentration breakdowns and and that's gonna happen when you get tired it's people looking up to look and find their space before they catch the catch the old loaf of bread because he said <laughs> yeah but actually it was a good call there from Valerie Griffiths good to see the replay there Breeze coming into the stadium right now. We are well into this second half, nearing to the 10 minute mark. Amazons need to get back on the scoreboard, down by six points. They've lost the line out. So Wisconsin take it upfield, showing and dumbing, looking for the offload and just getting a bludget, getting caught up there with a little forward pass. I mean, it's just frustrating as a forward team that forced pass when they could have just set it. The, uh, the Glendale men, they won the PRP. Has that been very positive here for the club? Yeah, I mean, anytime, anytime that we can we can put W's on the board and create more excitement just in the community, I think is huge because, you know, the more people we can get to be like, yeah, we want to go support a winner, you know, get in the stands and just enjoy rugby, I think it's great. I mean, we have a pretty good crowd seeing that we don't have any local teams playing. That's right. Which I think is a huge, huge thing. Yeah, and they've done a good job at uh, uh, Infinity Park promoting rugby and kind of so is Glendale getting everybody because I've heard there's a, radi a radio ad, there's stuff being played all the time. Yeah, the Glendale marketing team does a great job in, in creating some love for this game, which, I mean, once you catch the bug, it's easy to keep. And they do a great job here at Infinity Park, encouraging people to get to know rugby a little bit more, get to know the players. And that's tiny. Interesting, the eight went against the wheel there. She could have picked and gone with the oh. wheel and had a head start. That's right. It's hacked ahead, though. Be dotted down. 
relief for the Amazons. Looked very dangerous there with the kick came through by Grace Hoopley, kicked that ball in by Wisconsin, so that's why it's a 22 meter dropout. Good chance to relieve some pressure here for the Amazons. To bang it downfield, Erica Lane, got that trusty boot of hers, who watched the replay yep, there. Good choice, great choice to retain possession. Amazons right now, they're about midfield. For their runners. And that was Green. Very active ball in hand. Bit of a wayward pass though inside their 22. They're going to watch out for that as Navarro goes back to collect to clean things up. Green has still stayed on the deck. She's down. Very slow in getting up. Some tired bodies out there ready in the second half. We knew it was going to be only a matter of time. Oh, and there goes Tiny. Busting through. Looking for the offload. She finds it. Not that come through the gate. Not coming through the gate, so a little momentum swing here for the Amazons. They keep possession yet again. Through the gate, Red. Down with a couple lineup changes. Looks like Liz Robinson playing her last game for the club, moved into the side of the scrum. And Katie Odens, 21, one of the captains of the sky, has come into the back line, outside center. It's good good to player. Have, good to have some of those new players in as well getting the appearance in a national championship final. Still a lot in the balance here. Three tries to two on the scoreboard. Wisconsin lead, but the Amazons mounting a comeback here. Getting through the phases. That's better passing. Oh, uh, just <laughs> as I said that, Erica Lane gets thrown <laughs> over the head. Wild wayward ball into touch. That's called the commentator's curse, Sarah. <laughs> Yeah, I was, well, I mean, they recognized the space. It was just a, just a little unfortunate with that little scoop pass just missed. Um, and I was going to say something, too, about Wisconsin. Um, this is a pretty storied club. I know that they, they play in a lower division, but if you look at the alumni list on this club, it is impressive. I mean, you have Phaedra Knight, you know, yeah. just, just a staple of women's rugby. You have Kristen Zandantrowicz, another World Cup player, played for the Wisconsin women. Um, Cynthia, a scrum half forever, for, like, played for the Wisconsin women. For a long time, this was the definition of, of Midwest rugby, you know? Um, so my hat's off to, to definitely a quality club that's been around playing good rugby for a good time. Oh, they certainly have, and they're dominating here right now as well. They look to throw in here from Becca. Nicely taken, got a little wraparound Ooh. move. Very creative, trying to come around the front side of the lineup, and McCormick just going to touch. And uh, Brian, we spoke about that earlier. Some of the moves around the front. Yeah, just, just better awareness there. Yeah. That line was so close. You got to drive in when, as soon as you get that ball. But uh, again, I like the variations. I like the variations. Yeah, good job on the hooker, just doing her job right there. She stayed in that channel and was looking for that, and stayed at home instead of over pursuing something. No, she did a nice job indeed. Five. I don't think that was. Got to be five. Wasn't five meters, yeah. So, so she extended the extended her hand, so she caught the ball inside the five meter mark, and so it's a short arm penalty here. Attacking opportunity for Wisconsin. They look to tap and go. There they go. They set Becker up. Becker goes nice and low. It's a planned move as they bring around the polar bear. The polar bear with her hair, blonde hair, flowing in the wind. Now Johnson, quick hands to the outside. The super sub, oh, Ooh. huge tackle coming in on Kate Odens, the vice captain. So they've got to use this ball right now. They've got to keep going. Now the Amazons have turned this over. They're back on attack. There's no one in fullback position. If they can hoof this downfield, it would be a foot race. We saw one of the Wisconsin players lazily get back to their side of the ball. That's awarded a full arm penalty to the uh, Amazons. Do you want a tiny, she said. Yes, she does. Bustling through the middle. Great tackle there from the polar bear, putting a body on the line. And now very static. To try Ooh. to see what they can do. Shifting and moving. Oh, that was a great offload. This is better stuff from uh -oh. the Amazons. On the outside, Erica Lane, she won't have the gas. Great tackle from opposite number. Gonzalez in support. Excellent work from the fullback. Racing away, will she go all the way? Just short of the line, she lays it back. Get the Amazon it, ladies have advantage penalty right near the line. Four meters out, 
diving over, and the ball's been ripped out, so it's going to come back to the penalty. Oh, boy. And I expect a player by the nickname of Tiny should get this ball. No, it goes on the outside. Ferocious tackling there. And they stop Suzanne Ituaki. Now they go to Navarro with the offload. To French, diving over, try time. You can't be stopped. Beth Housen goes over, sustained pressure. And finally she gets a bit of meat. Yeah, finally Sacramento was able to string some phases together and get some clean ball in hand, and they kept their attack very, very vertical. So, meaning they didn't drift across the field, and that that allowed it, Wisconsin to have to freeze. Oh, so anyway, I uh, no, missed no, it. Great touchdown. Great touchdown. Maybe get another look at that replay in a second. But that really was, as I said, direct rugby, which is important, weren't drifting on the side of the field. And again, they've got so many dangerous runners and a lot of big ball carriers. So hard to stop, and they're right back in this game. 19-18, this conversion from Erica Lane to put them in front. It drifts to the right-hand side, so scores 19-18. Yeah, and when you set that big powerful. Rugby fans come together at Emirates, the official airline of USA Rugby. Enjoy our award-winning service to more than 140 destinations worldwide across six continents. Tomorrow brings us all closer to the game we love. Fly Emirates, hello tomorrow. Yes, sir, you were saying that? Yeah, I was just going to say, with, with the type of runners that Sacramento has and that, that hard vertical attack, you have to commit two players. And when you can commit two players, it really opened up the space, and they were able to just keep a vertical line and just move it along the hands. And it was a great effort by the finisher there for sure. It certainly was. The Amazon ladies are back in this game, and that's Christina Weber trying to get things sparked again. One point in this. What another exciting final we're witnessing here in Fiddy Park. A wild throw just goes into touch there. And, yeah. sir, you, you talked about Wisconsin being one of the great clubs in the Midwest. But, you know, talking to their coach, he said, this this team really is a club. They're really close on and off the field. And he said it's been a joy to coach them this year. And he, he wouldn't want to coach another group of girls. He's, uh, he said he's just had a wonderful time. Got five. Yeah, we actually hosted a couple of them. A few of them came in early, and, and right? that's, that, that goes to speak of the rugby community. Yeah. Nice take at the front. Wisconsin, Johnson. Moving it through Blachet. Oh, now cutting in the middle. Great stuff from Odins. Using her electric feet. Going to the outside. Excellent tackle on wide pitch. We know she's electric. The ball spun loose again. Bit of momentum change again. Amazons have their hands on the ball. They've done brilliantly there. Oh, what a dummy. And the pass. It's been intercepted, though. It's taken from Blajet. Wow. I'd like to see a replay of that dummy. Space to move. This is when they're dangerous. Cutting them to shred. Christine Peterson beats the fullback. She could go all the way. Unbelievable stuff. Christine Peterson, as lethal as an ejection. She scores a brilliant five-pointer. see a replay what Christine Peterson she scored three tries in the quarterfinal so talk us through this it. one Sarah they know they want to go wide with it and then she just one on one beats looks for her support she sees it shreds that tackle and away she goes that's a nice open field rumble stumble for sure by the flanker yeah and she's no uh, stranger to the try zone scoring uh, a lot of tries for Wisconsin throughout this year here's a conversion attempt by Elisa Becker Fifth and four, Charred Cider is proud of you, USA Eagles. A cider that's made strong in the fine tradition of making things strong. Smith and four, Charred Cider, built from apples, built to refresh, made strong. And Becker was good on that conversion. 26-18 now in favor of Wisconsin. And speaking of strong, we've got to thank Sarah Shabbat for joining us here in the commentary booth. Wonderful to have you here. All the best for the Super Series coming up. We look forward to seeing you in action representing Glendale and the USA Eagles later this year. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks, Sarah. It's been fun. Pleasure. <laughs> I learned some things, too. Absolutely. Thanks, Sarah. And I'm also going to not referee a game and talk to the forwards. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah is an absolute sensation with ball in hand. 
And it's great to have her lending her experience here to the commentary booth. And we look forward to seeing her in the summer series with the USA Eagles later this year, the yeah. Glendale Raptor. And, and that's going to be exciting. That's good competition. And that's what they need, as Sarah said, you know, need to play more games. And now the U.S. men are playing more games. The women have to do the same. And again, it's good competition. England, New Zealand, Canada. And that is what you want to see. But back to the action here. It is 26-18, as you said. Wisconsin trading tries with the Amazons. And we are winding down this clock. 20 minutes. And we'll be crowning a national champion. Following this as well, we have the Life West Gladiators taking on. Oh, great push and driving there. That looked like a good scrum from Wisconsin there. And if I'm Wisconsin, I'm just going to run the ball. I'm going to spread this field as much as you can in the last 20 minutes. Yeah, you might as well, especially you've got a lot of burners on the outside. Yeah, and keep it away from the uh, thick stuff. Get away from the, the rocks and malls. Get it out of that area. Get it away from uh, the tackle area. Spread it out wide. Make the Sacramento team run around the field. There's a good shot. Still an Amazon put in, though. Right about that. Keep the ball away from the forwards. And the crowd in the background are coming alive. Huge traveling fan base here for the Wisconsin squad. They may not playing after this against the Life West Gladiators. And that will be another thrilling final as well. So this scrum has been won by the Amazons. And they move it away through Haley French. Back inside to Gonzalez. She's trying to get her team to make the meters. Navarro. Bash it forward with CU Green. Now picked up at the base. Errands, she scored two tries already today. Great steal, they're tapping and going. It's Peterson, who just scored that last try. Gives a no look pass. Oh, unbelievable pass, and what a finish! Skinning him like electric eels. Wow, all the way. That is four <laughs> tries. Justine White pitch, and she has been absolutely phenomenal in this final. Put another log on the fire. Unbelievable. And I think uh, Christine Peterson has had a really good game as open side flanker for this Wisconsin team. She's the one that set that in motion. And uh, a nice take by Justine Wypitt. She had a difficult catch there and then had the wheels to finish. But uh, good finish. Here's, here's uh, Christine Peterson. Watch the catch here by White Pitch. It was a difficult catch. She did well, and then still had to elude one player and outgun the other. But a nice four try effort for Justine White Pitch. Oh, that really was absolutely fantastic. She had multiple selections for the Wisconsin under 23 side. And this is her first year, as you said, playing with the Wisconsin Rugby Club. The registered nurse from Sevens Point has done her team proud. This kick is going to fall short. And so it's 31-18, Wisconsin lead. World Rugby Shop is proud to be the official online retailer of USA Rugby. Get all of your USA Eagles gear and more at worldrugbyshop.com. Great supporter of the U.S. national team, World Rugby Shop. And I think we're starting to see what we talked about. Uh, the Sacramento team tiring out a little bit. And Wisconsin, they just keep in the pedal of the metal, trying to keep that ball in open play. Taken by their super sub. Back into the fray. McCormick and Peterson as well. Ooh. Solid tackle. High. Still oh. driving her legs. Great work there from Grace Havdi. The collegiate All-American. Showing why she's in this final. Big tackle coming in, but managed to get the offload away to Johnson. Now they're looking on the outside. Speed to burn here, uh, Ashley Shaw, but she just runs into touch. Yeah, a little bit better field awareness no. there. It's going to be a turnover ball. It's going to be a, it's Amazon's throw in just in front of us. But Hubby's also had a strong game. Here's the uh, ball goes out wide to Levine. Levine had a little trouble getting it, and then he gets out to Shaw. And Shaw gets bundled into touch. But Hovey's had a good couple of strong runs. I've very been very impressed with Peterson today. She's done well in the lineouts as well. Great loose trio. This ball yeah. looked like it was straight. We got numbers. Our uh, numbers is the call. Yeah. Too many man, too many players in the line for Wisconsin. So now 
this could be an opportunity here. They need to get something going. Yeah, they're tapping and going. They're using Dickey. Dickey rumbles it forward. They've got to get their player out the way. Counter ruck comes through. Looks fairly solid. And they have taken possession. Great work oh, from that's Wisconsin. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. It should have been a penalty on Sacramento. That red leg. A monster head coming and squashed her like a pretzel. Comes flying in there. Was Tani Finau. And Wisconsin still winding down the clock here. <laughs> totally fine with them, but Fino has the ball. And Aaron is doing great work there. French hasn't had much possession in the second half. Knock on by Red, so we're going to come back to the Australian. Tani Fino just lying on the ground, trying to get that valuable rest. Still 15 minutes to go in this game. 31-18. And the Wisconsin side are really showing that their strength. They've got some subs coming in right now. It looks like Sybil Levine is coming out for Wisconsin. Blue scrum, knocked by Red. And it could be Emery Frerix, I believe, that uh, came on, number 23, playing the right side wing. Straight change from winger to winger. Let's see what the Amazons do there. They have all of their backline players to the right side of the scrum, except the powerful Erica Lane, who's standing all alone out here on the left. Oh, it's going to be a Wisconsin tight head, though. Big defense, though, coming in as well there on Hubdi. And they've got the ball, the Amazons. See if they can spark some magic here. Strong ball carry. Now they get some wood. Fina with a red pass. Picking and going. Can't be afford to be isolated there, and I think they might be. And Wisconsin there. In a great low body position over the ball. And their hands in the ruck. You gotta get out. Is the call from the Amazon player on the ground, but she was That's running away. In the ruck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so now if you're Wisconsin, you start slowing it down, taking your time, fine touch here. Take your time to the line out. Mike is on. Big boot uh, coming in there. A nice big nice long kick. kick by Huffy. We right. just saw her a minute ago with a hard charging run, kept on the legs driving. This late in the game in a hot, hot yeah. weather at altitude. Oh, she's got a great work rate. Yeah. The coaches have been very proud of her performance. Bob Jefferis and Red Kim Dustin. Off. Well, in their last three games, Christine Peterson scored three tries in the quarterfinal. Humpty scored five in the semifinal, and Justin Wypich four today in the final. So they're, they're distributing their tries amongst a few different players, but uh, it's a solid all-around team as this Wisconsin women's team. And it's teams like that that win championships. You can't rely on one individual player, and they really are spreading out the workload. And right now they've got the outside center, Liz Robertson. She's at the back of the line out. Here they go. Oh, oh, that was a very, oh. very suspect pass. Forward by a mile. And so advantage here for the Amazons. Yeah, you just got to calm down. I mean, that was a, a really bad idea there, the forward pass. I mean, she just forced that pass. She just held onto it when things weren't, when the timing was off. That's when you just suck it up and uh, try a new. Yeah, Jen Johnson there, the registered nurse as well, one of the three, one of three redheads in the team. The replay, so the timing was just slightly off you as you watch Johnson there. Should have gone behind <laughs> her back. Right when she's <laughs> that, oh, why'd I do that? <laughs> yeah, the pass from the scrum app was a little off. That's what kind of set things going in the wrong direction. So, Amazon's back on the left. We haven't seen much of Erica Lane right now. She needs to get the ball because she can spark some magic on the outside. See what they do with Finau. Oh, it's a great Another shot. One. The tight end indeed. There they go. Ball gets flung out to the side. Picked up by a wide pitch. Back in field to the ever-working Peterson. She just gets battled in touch. But great scrumming. I mean, especially when you're pushing aside a team like the Amazons, you know that the opposition's gassed. And again, we talked about they, they've usually been the smaller the teams throughout the year. And, you know, they just they play for a full 80 minutes. And this scrum is evident. There's a tight head right there. 
And Hovde gets off quickly with the ball and sets her team in motion. Tries that little backhanded pass. Whitefish did well, but Peterson gets bundled in the touch. Now, no taps here for Christine Peterson. Try to grab it or a soft tap. A little bit of a tap there from the Amazon ladies. They still have possession inside their 22. They try to run it out. Dangerous stuff there. A couple of good fins. Been very impressed with the outside center, Fahey Schaff. But they're on the back foot here. Oh, and they give, give away a penalty back. in the red zone. Tapping and going. Peterson sees their backs turned. Oh, <laughs> Peterson cuts them to shreds. Oh, she picks it up. She was like a UFO gliding through. And that was a heads up play that may have won the national title for the Wisconsin the ladies. And here's me, I was just gonna say, slow it down, take the three points, but she saw a gap in that defense, she saw a tired defense, and as she's been doing throughout the day, she took that quick tap and just slithered right through that Amazon's defense. 36-18 now, that's gonna be a, a long, tough fight back for the Amazons if they're gonna pull this one out. And especially with you know that short bench and they're, they're pretty much gassed right now. So it's gonna be a big, big ask. Wisconsin moving the ball very well through their backs and forwards combined. Smaller team, but a very fit side with great skills. Conversion attempt to come here from Elisa Becker. This one is good. So the score is 38-18. 20 points the difference right now. Building off of USA's presence, on, USA Rugby's presence on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Google Plus, USA Club Rugby is excited to promote club-specific content on social media. Connect with Club Rugby today at www.facebook.com slash USA Club Rugby. Speaking of social media there, I'm sure you're getting on Twitter in an hour. The men's US national team will play in the final against Canada for Olympic qualification. And the women as well will be carving it up there. We'll get a time on that pretty soon. Meanwhile, wide pitch, back into the action, the four try hero. They want to finish with a flurry. And Grace Hovde piles in there, still with a leg drive. Wow, what great work from the eighth man. Moving the ball to their super sub, bending. Oh, oh that's uh -oh. a big tackle. Looks Referee a bit little play on. Referee says play on, says Valerie Griffith. And it's picked up there from Brianna Falasu. So entering from the side. Looks like they want to go quick. The Amazon side. Everyone is pretty bunched right now in the middle of the field. Now they set Janine Dickey away. They want to finish this game strong into the last 10 minutes. Back inside from French. And now, Tiny Tafino. We go to the outside. Not much happening there for Haley French. They get a turnover here. They will be absolutely gassed with no one back home. Sacramento Amazons keep piling in the pressure here. See if they can bulldoze their way through for another score. Dickey with a second ball carry in this movement. Nice strong run there from Navarro. Very contrasting styles of play, just getting a few meters at a time. No breakout scores yet. Oh, that was a clean out and a half coming in from the captain, CU Green. Now they finally get to their backs. Just straight up running from Chef. She's handled by the super sub, Margot Beatty. Beatty might have stolen that. She's just come onto the field, there's fresh legs. And now it hits the deck, so it's ruck time. Might be unplayable here. No, no diving over the top should be a penalty right here. So off their feet. Amazons will go quick. Tani, Finau. Oh, Finau. Just short, but she gets the offload as well. So many tries have been scored here by the Amazons at this range. They've got to get over. Then nugget it little halfback. The cookie connoisseur. It's Danita Ahrens. And now diving over. Great score. It's Haley French. Touches down. 
There's still a little bit of time left. They need to hurry this conversion. It's 38-23. The Amazons strike back. And excuse me, I think it was Beth Howson who got that try. Well, that was a good fight back by the, the Amazons. There you see the big shunt up front, and it was number 12. Yeah, it was Housen that scored that try. 33 years young. Nice to score a try in the final. That's Housen's second try yep. in the second half. Very important kick coming up here. 15 points of difference. They can narrow that down to score twice. Oh, it just swirls to the right-hand side. So 38-23, Wisconsin lead. Oh. Monday Movie Madness is back, Dallin. Join us on June 15th at 8 p.m. for Night at the Museum. Enjoy free movies under the stars right here at Infinity Park. Infinity Park at glendale.com slash movies. Great place to watch a movie under the nice summer night here in the Glendale. Oh, yeah, get the family involved. It's a brilliant time. Yeah. Thousands of people come out here to watch Night at the Museum. And they get huge crowds here. Yeah, they do. They do. I mean, it's bring a your really food, bring your blankets, bring a pillow. So Amazons Dogs need to get back into this game. They've just scored. See if they can get back another one with Navarro. Yeah, that was a big kick. They're still out by 15. They need three scores at least. It's a tough ask indeed when they. It's such an energy sapping moment for them. And Palasu, the prop forward, takes it up. He said they only have three substitutes. And maybe one of them is on the field right now. Looks like the captain, CU Green, is hurt in the back play. But getting interaction is Eric Elaine. Eric Elaine trying to create a bit of havoc in the defense. On the outside is Housen. Housen now. Uh -huh. Gonzalez. Gonzalez has some gas. Strips away from the defense. A lot of players offsides here. They need to get quick ball to the left. Okay, look, they move it to Schaff. Schaff, go for it, ball. Wow. This is Amazon rugby at its best. Here to get those defenders out the way and keep the cycling position they do. Tiny, Finau, Finau, gets the offload. Excellent bit of work to Navarro. They could score here. Super sub on, Sarah Mackay. Sarah Mackay's in there. They have advantage right in front of the post in the red zone. Not rolling away, tapping and going. They got a score here. Oh, thunderous oh tackle coming in on Dickey. The polar bear. The polar bear flying in. Disregard for a body. The low flow to Navarro. Where is Tiny? It's the call. Oh, the ruck has come flying in. Great counter ruck, but the Amazons still have it. And the ball is out. No, I think. Yeah, they managed to steal it back. Offside's play here is Kerry Jensen. But here they go. Numbers to burn. Cutting back on the inside. Fahey Schaff. Body strewn everywhere. And it's been stolen. And who else to come away with it by wide pitch? And Wisconsin not releasing. Wide pitch gives up a penalty. That's a second penalty in the red zone. Tap and go again, Finau, Tiny, and standing start. She just draws in the defenders. Oh, and bustling a great leg drive oh. there from Erica Lane, a meter short. Navarro, Gonzalez, Gonzalez will score. You can't stop her a few meters out. She's got better footwork than Ricky Martin on the dance floor. Great score, kick to come. Very impressed by the fight back by this Amazon squad. There you see Gonzalez. She just saw a little bit of a seam. Didn't take much. The kick is no good. 38-28 is the score. Trainer. So the kick oh, conversion is good. 38-30. Now still that eight-point differential. That's going to be tough. Just a couple minutes left. But great fight back by this Sacramento Amazons team. Yeah. They still got some juice left in them. I think there's an injured 
player in the background. It looks like Liz Robinson, I think. Yeah. Number 13 for Wisconsin, getting some attention. So the next game coming up is a great final indeed. Wisconsin return, the men's side, and Life West Gladiators. I'm excited to see some of those players on the field. I, I'm curious. Yeah. I mean, you see some of the names. There's the uh, Kong and Captain at yeah. number eight. You got a Rennie Ie, who's yeah. been a, a lot of, he's a world known name from the Auckland Blues and New Zealand Sevens. So, you know, it's just going to be interesting to see how they put it together. Wisconsin, I think they're going to play just like their women team. I mean, they're going to be a scrappy bunch. And uh, they've been here before. They've been here three of the last four times and uh, won two of those championships. So they have that big game experience that they're, they're going to count on. But again, that Life West team, I talked to Mike Saunders, who coaches Snake River, and they played them in the playoffs. And uh, he said they're just a, it was a pretty phenomenal effort. They did well against them. It was a good game. But uh, he said they have a lot of talent there. And, and they were in Division Three last year, their first year. Division Two. if things go very well for them, they could find themselves moving up. Well, I didn't, I didn't I read somewhere they might be invited to PRP? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think they got to do a little more, but uh, we'll see. Oh, so that conversion was not good then. So it's 38 to 28. That's the correct score. There's a super sub coming here for the Wisconsin ladies' side. And so they've got to score twice. They've got to get a conversion as well. And taking up there is CU Green. Now they're moving it away, but it's a turnover. Yeah. Forward pass. Forward pass, Forward just pass. unfortunate there. Oh, I tell you, there's been some great efforts on uh, both these sides, but the, the ones that stand out for me from Wisconsin are Hovde, Peterson, and Polar Bear up front, and uh, Y pitch in the back line has just been outstanding. And uh, those, those, they've all had really good games, but you can't win a championship without a total team effort, so congratulations to both these teams. Oh, that's the thing, a huge credit to the coaching staff. Bob. Jeffers and Kim Diston and the great job. 16 to 4 is their record in the Midwest. And they're getting all their players some playing time, and that's great. And a good hand for Liz Robinson. Her last game, her last game with Wisconsin. And she's gonna go out a national champion. That's great. Oh, she will. Yeah, that's what you want to see. Because you can never predict how your team's gonna do. And Robinson goes out on a high. Yep. The and team has a 10-point lead here. And, an, and another stalwart, Dallin, Jessica Berta, I think she's already out of the game, but she was the uh, starting loose head for Wisconsin. 20 years of rugby, 12 with Wisconsin, her last game as well, and she goes out of the national champ. Wow, that really is fantastic. Hats off there. And to both these teams, the Amazons have fought back bravely. Yeah, they have. One minute left in this game. Let's see what they can conjure up. They have the scrum right now. One of their three subs is on, and that's Annie Ferenbach. She's playing in the halfback role. Drifting on the outside. Oh, wonderful little flick back in field. Genius bit of skill there. And that was a try scorer, Beth Housen, to her center partner, Schaff. They get a penalty. They could finish here with another score and a conversion to bring things really close. And Schaff's run hard all game long. She her has. and Erica Lane. When they have the ball in hand, they're always a danger. That's better timing. To find their hooker, Shamila Green. Hands up, Red. Get those bodies out of the ruck time. The counter ruck is good though. Wisconsin. Oh, and look who it is, of course, cutting through the middle. Wow, like an absolute giraffe streaking through. Huge tackle coming in from Havdi. There's advantage for that hit. Wisconsin could finish here with a flurry. Bodies piling everywhere. They've got a lot of super subs in. Emily Friedrichs is in, as well as Karen Jensen. And then a come back to the original penalty. It was a high tackle, and a monster it was on a man, Grace Hovby. There you heard the referee. She said this is the last play. Kick the touch or kick for points? Kick it in the touch, and it's over. Try to kick it in the touch, and it's over. Some people are saying no. Some people are saying yes by kicking it to touch. You watch the replay there. Big, solid tackle coming in indeed. And they hoop this downfield. It hits the touch line. And it's full time, says referee Val Griffith. And what a phenomenal second half it has been here at Infinity Park. The, a late charge from the Sacramento Amazons was not enough to stop Wisconsin becoming the 2015 Women's D2 National Champion. An excellent game, and what a finish it was. Celebrations are galore. 
And Fizz, instrumental indeed. We're going to take a short break, though. And when we come back, we're going to bring you the highlights from that second half action. And it is the Wisconsin side who win this game 38-28. We'll be right back. Today's match from Rugby Town USA was brought to you by World Rugby Shop. World Rugby Shop is proud to be the official online retailer of USA Rugby. Get all your USA Eagles gear, team gear, and more at worldrugbyshop.com. And by Smith & Forge Hard Cider, a proud sponsor of your USA Eagles, a cider that's made strong in the fine tradition of making things strong. Smith & Forge Hard Cider, built from apples, built to refresh, made strong. And by Emirates Airline. Rugby fans come together with Emirates, the official airline of USA Rugby. Enjoy our award-winning service to more than 140 destinations worldwide across six continents. Tomorrow brings us all closer to the game we love. Being away from home doesn't mean being away from your favorite shows. With Xfinity, you can stream over 50 networks live. And Xfinity on demand on any device. Oh, that would be cool. It's like having your TV at the park. Oh. <laughs> you can even watch at the beach. Wow. It gives me a choice to enjoy what I like most, no matter where I'm at. That's paradise. TV that goes where you go. See for yourself. Download the Xfinity TV Go app today and get even more out of your entertainment experience. This business of Alpha Graphics, helping customers build communication solutions, we have a super unique opportunity to be able to complement what we have grown up doing. Which means business cards and letterhead, envelopes and that sort of thing. Whether they need a flyer or a website, or they have a website and just need to figure out how to drive traffic to that website. We are more of a solutions provider than just a printer. But we are a one-stop shop. We love being part of the Infinity Park and Glendale community. We've been here for many years. We'd love to have you come by and check Wisconsin ladies have come through and scored some brilliant tries and you can see it. Look at the smiles, the tears, the celebration, the drama, the excitement of the national championship. They're getting their medals right now and what a finish it was indeed. Six brilliant tries scored in the second half, three apiece, but it was enough for the Sacramento Amazons who had a late comeback. They scored two good tries in quick succession. We're going to take a look at those right now. And here it is. Quick hands on the outside. And it was Beth Housen who scored a great score there. And that took play within one point. But not to be outdone, Christine Peterson came storming back. And she was really one of the MVPs in the sport pack. Just busting through as a magic try. One of two she scored in this final. And then Justine Wypich. Can you believe it? What can't she do? Just streaking through, leaving the people for dead in her wake. A wonderful finish from her. That was four tries. And Christine Peterson, she scored her second. This one pretty much wrapped up the game. And again, just a stellar effort. She took the quick cap penalty. She saw the Sacramento defense a little bit lazy, get back in position. Very heads up play, scored the try. And then Bess Howlton scored her second try of the game to make it 38-23. And then Rachel Gonzalez found just a little bit of seam to make it 38-28 final. Good fight back by Sacramento, but a great effort by uh, this Wisconsin side. Oh, it certainly was indeed. Last game indeed in your career. You go out a national champion. You couldn't have written a better script indeed. And congratulations again to the Wisconsin ladies. And then coming up next, we have the Wisconsin men are playing as well. And what a great atmosphere here at Infinity Park. The fans are absolutely loving this. And I know they're going to present the trophy very shortly to the ladies from Wisconsin. Yeah, and again, it's, it's a jubilant feeling. You work so hard throughout the year. It, it, you know, when you put in the 80 minute effort like these ladies did today, I mean, you can only have smiles and tears of joy. Thanks for joining us in Rugby Town USA, where Wisconsin defeated the Sacramento Amazons by a score of 38 to 28 to win the 2015 USA Rugby Emirates Airline Division II Club National Championship. 
For more info on Infinity Park, go to infinitypark at glendale.com. Any rebroadcast of the pictures, audio, and accounts for this match are strictly prohibited without express written permission from the city of Glendale, Colorado, and USA Rugby. This has been a copyright broadcast of the city of Glendale, Colorado, and USA Rugby. For Brian Visit and our entire crew, I'm Dallin Stanton, saying thanks for tuning in. Since when did leaving a legacy mean going viral or getting on the popular page? When did 15 minutes of fame become 15 seconds? Let's grow business. Let's create jobs. Let's leave a legacy that matters. This business of Alphagraph is helping customers build communication solutions. We have a super unique opportunity to be able to complement what we have grown up doing. Which means business cards and letterhead envelopes and that sort of thing. Whether they need a flyer or a website or they have a website and just need to figure out how to drive traffic to that website. We are more of a solutions provider than just a printer. But we are a one-stop shop. We love being part of the Infinity Park and Glendale community. We've been here for many years. We'd love to have you come by and check.